Mary Ann Hansen. I'm an extension plant pathologist with Virginia Cooperative Extension. And we're out here today on July 17th, 2018, looking at a disease on an apple tree. And you may have seen this disease in one of our earlier videos um, on the red cedar tree, because the rust fungus that causes this disease on apples um, requires two different plant hosts to complete its life cycle. So earlier this spring, the fungus uh, caused galls on the red cedar tree, and on, the, on some of those galls, some spores of the fungus were produced that eventually blew over to these apple leaves and infected them, causing the bright uh, yellow to orange spots that we see on these leaves today. And eventually, another type of spore will be formed on these apple leaves that will blow back to the red cedars and allow the fungus to complete its life cycle. Now, this particular tree has a lot of spots caused by the cedar apple rust fungus. And to a plant pathologist like myself, um, I think these leaves are just beautiful. But I can understand that the grower of the apple tree is not that excited about these spots. Um, you can get a lot of spots covering the leaves, as we see here, and that reduces the amount of carbohydrate that that leaf is able to produce um, that the fruit will use to develop. And not only do you get a lot of leaf spots compromising the leaf, but you also will get leaves dropping. So in the end, you end up with smaller fruit, even though this particular rust fungus doesn't tend to form many spots on the fruit, it's mostly a leaf disease, you will still get a, a very reduced yield and not as much applesauce or, or apple butter out of this particular tree. You can control this disease with fungicides, um, but you have to begin early in the season when those spores are infecting the leaves. And so you have to begin right when those leaves are about a half an inch long, and you have to continue the sprays on a regular basis up until about June 10th or so in this area. And so it does require some effort to control the disease with fungicides. Your best bet if you can plant a new tree is to choose a tree that has resistance to cedar apple rust. Your best bet for controlling the disease is to plant a resistant variety. And there are some varieties that are very susceptible to this disease that, that you would want to avoid. Uh, Rome Beauty, Jonathan, Golden Delicious, some of the familiar varieties that we know and love have very high susceptibility to this disease. But there are other varieties of apple that have a good resistance, such as Liberty and Sundance, so you can consider them for a new planting. Um, the other thing to consider when you're choosing new apple varieties for planting is to think about other diseases as well. So some varieties are um, resistant to several different diseases, including scab and fire blight, which are other diseases that we commonly see on apple trees in Virginia. So try and find a variety that has resistance to multiple apple diseases if you can. Our plan for this video was to talk about only cedar apple rust, but we noticed when we came out here that there were actually some other different spots on these apple leaves caused by a different rust fungus. So rust fungi are a large group of related fungi, each of which has its own uh, particular life cycle and particular host plants. Um, but there are several different rust fungi that can attack apple. And so what we see on these leaves is that these smaller yellowish orange spots are caused by the cedar apple rust fungus, but we also see some larger circular yellow orange spots with a bright red ring around the outside. And those are actually caused by a different rust fungus called the Japanese apple rust fungus. Um, this is a relatively recent introduction to the United States, and we've seen it on apples as well as crab apples. And um, at this time of the season, we can also see the spore stage called the Eseal spore stage forming on the lower leaf surface. And the Eseal spore stage of, stage of the Japanese apple rust fungus has uh, very striking pointy fruiting bodies sticking out of the lower leaf surface. 
Um, as far as we know, this rust fungus is controlled by the same fungicides that would control the cedar apple rust fungus. It was just kind of a curiosity that we wanted to show you since we saw it today.